Hi everybody, and welcome to the bench. Well, Roy, I told you I was gonna corner you and get you to tie me up that fry fly of yours. Great for cutthroat. For the hook, we're gonna use a size six Mustad 3666. For the thread, we'll use some ADOT black uni thread. We're gonna use some mallard barbs for the tail, some fine silver French tinsel for the body. For the throat, we're gonna have some bright orange Gantron yarn and some more mallard barbs for the wing. So when you start? I think I will. First you take your uh, black thre thread, wrap it onto the hook. What we'll take is, uh, we've selected a breast feather, mallard breast feather. We're going to uh, trim out a few slips of this, uh, a few barbels for the... Uh, and when you say a few, how many, probably clip oh, out 10 or so? Proportionate to the size of the, the fly you're making, okay. uh, maybe 10 or 20. Sure. Just hold it in place and wrap it on. Wrap your thread to the back again. Basically, that's oh. that's the tail of the fly. So fairly long. What's that? The size uh, of the shank, probably. Well, maybe three quarters of the shank length. Okay. And we'll just take some of our nice silver tinsel here, because it's a uh, because it's a small size tinsel. We don't have to uh, trim the end or anything. Just lay it in place. Lock it in with a few thread wraps. Advance the thread out towards the forward portion. Towards the just, hook. Just gently uh, but firmly. The thing with uh, real silver tinsel is it can be a bit fragile. Just wrap it on, spiraling it on forward. And you want to keep the body fairly thin, I see. Yes, I think the, uh, the key to this is the sparseness of the fly. It gives the impression of a little fry or a, a bait fish. Then we're going to take the, uh, the little gantron wool. Now it that's, is gantron, right? That's that's a, yeah. the the uh, proper term for this okay. type of material, gantron. It's not a wool; it's a, a synthetic. The idea of this is that uh, it simulates the the yolk sac of a of a sal salmon fry, and uh, orange is a particularly good color for sea run cutthroats. Take the mallard again. We'll, we'll uh, trim out a section of the of the uh, flue. About, oh, maybe twice as, as thick of a section as the... Uh, Makes sense, a little bigger wing, a little fuller. As, as the tail. What we want to do is uh, position it so it's almost the same length as the tail. Okay. Tie it in place. Just wind a basic thread head. A couple of half inches just to uh, tighten it up. Put a drop of head cement on just to lock it in place for uh, a bit of durability. There's the finished fly. We just that's uh, it. We just trim the thread, and we're going to go fishing. Excellent. Well, we know it works. You know, we've caught some real nice cutthroat on it, and uh, I'm going to tie some. I'm going to add that to my arsenal. I think it should be really good. I think so too. And I think it might even work for rainbow. You think that little? I don't doubt work? it. Uh, I don't doubt it at all. Rainbows. Uh, I'd love to have a fly like that. All so right. You can have that one. Well, thank you very much.